I uh, want to talk to you about the, uh, the F word. No, 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 no. The other F word. Faith. Faith is defined as having complete trust or confidence in something, a belief that is not based on proof. Well, if you're like me, this may be the hardest thing to get your head around. To believe in something without physical evidence, well, nothing stretches my internal question marks more. I mean, really, to have blind faith in something, well, that just seems foolish. And it's usually dangerous, especially from a point of ignorance. And there are plenty of examples of misguided beliefs in our own global culture to choose from. It seems the religious and spiritual types are quite off their gourd, and their inability to truly understand what faith means has brought more suffering than we care to admit. The word faith has been abused and tossed around so much that it doesn't even seem to carry any weight. Faith in itself is a belief. It is a inner knowing without perceptive proof or verification. Easier said than done, I know, and I realize that I have only scratched the surface of my own testings of reliance upon this type of faith. But in faith lies the spiritual power, a disposition of boundless potentiality. What science and philosophy and of course religion has shown us over thousands of years is that perception from a three-dimensional perspective is only a small portion of true existence. You see, faith is the activation code. It's our first move into a spiritual technology that transcends our senses and our own consciousness of our existence. Without faith, even God's grace, salvation, or mercy for us is not complete. Faith is the skeleton key to the doors of ultimate realities, into the everlasting heavens, and into eternity itself. It is the elemental truth that seeps through the veil between the physical body and the spiritual realm. Let's give an honest try and let's put into practice of what it means to have faith in something not yet seen, of things hoped for. Let's ask God to strengthen our faith and make it our most powerful tool to walk, to think, and speak in utter confidence before ourselves, before God, <laughs> and before the world.